Hello and welcome to a random game by Miner. So let's go. This one is Spain. Um, well, actually not Spain, it's Iberia. So this would be the Iberian Peninsula. And up here we have the borders of France, you know, got some Alps here with Andorra being here. And then across here you have the whole of Spain. And I know that this is a Guadalquivir River, but I'm not actually sure which one this is. And I I did have a look to see which one it could possibly be, but I'm not sure. But anyway, you have Portugal down about here, and then you have the Gibraltar here and the Gibraltar Strait. It, I have a feeling it's either the Tajo River or Duero River that's this one. But anyway, and you have a couple of islands here. I can't remember what they would be called, but that's a lot of gold there. So probably worth having a look to see this, this gold, because I want to, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 13. Anyway, same situation as before. So I'm playing as a hunt, so I don't need any houses. Uh, this random civilization is playing on hard. Uh, two enemies, all all playing against each other. Green is Saosun, so the Kala Un. And red is the Chinese, the Li Shi Min. So I'm quite fortunate to be spawned in France here, because I could barricade off here, here, and here. And I would have, you know, you can see me building a watchtower there, but I'm not actually sure where the enemy is, and I soon find green. There you go. And I thought, well, red's got to be over here somewhere. And it's only later on that I realised that they were in um, Africa. This, this area here would be Algeria, Tunisia... Libya. I think those are the sort of places. So anyway, you start off with your normal resources. You've got your stone, your gold, your food, your wood. But, why am I being attacked? Ah, that'd be a ship, maybe. Anyway, I've built a dock here. And I've got a couple of relics very nearby. So I've got one relic there, another one there. And there's one here, and one here. And where is the final one? I final one's on here. So I think I end up with four relics by the end. And so let's say if you were this person, you'd have to be careful about the the waters because the enemy could land here and approach in from this end. The enemy could sneak up through here and somehow attack any buildings that are here. And or they could land anywhere along here. So you could probably do with some towers around. You could also the enemy could come up here and they would easily take out this. But having this river here, um, which I'll just call the Central River, you could send ships up here, and for example you could have an Elite Cannon Galleon C-15 range all the way round. But red seems, uh, green seems to be taking up monks, and they don't seem to be having an effect at all. And this is quite fortunate, they're wanting to go for my watchtower, but that's guarded by trees, so I'll get rid of that, that anyway. And so i get my, I've got some Huns, and here we go, got some skirmishes and they're, they're just going, they're, they're not doing too good a job, but you, ah, here we go, you can see, sent some villagers over and I'm getting here. However, red d doesn't allow me that later on and I could have done with more than a watchtower or it might be a different map. Anyway, as Huns I've got some cavalry archers and some hussars because I've and I didn't really go too much for Tarkins because they weren't really the best of unit to have in this situation. Because I I like to go for trebuchets, so I could have done more with trebuchets. And here we go, I'm being attacked quite a bit here, so I thought I'd send my cavalry archers and get some monks coming up. Get rid of all these people, especially the petards. Some people call them petards, I call them petards. Um, as in having the emphasis on the tard bit. I don't know which one's correct, but I just call it that anyway. So I'm protecting here, and at the moment, I lost this castle and this watchtower. Nope, I didn't, because they were over here. I didn't lose anything. But I could have done with a, uh, a castle here. Uh, here's a castle. Because the enemy seemed to come for this section here, and any boats that come in would be taken out here. But look at all these people. They seem to be running away. They keep coming after me, but I'm making my attack, and... Got a watchtower, watchtower here to get rid of some of these people. I think I can only get watchtowers as hunts. But anyway, here I go. Going into the enemy's base, taking, getting rid of this. Now, the unfortunate thing, if you attack here, and the enemy is here, they can send ships up. So you probably want to create a few docks around here, and then approach in with some ships, because, you know, cavalry archers against galleons aren't the best of units to have. 
and you don't want your trebuchets near this. You don't want the trebuchets near the, um, the waters anyway, because they'll get taken out quite easily. And I'm being attacked quite a lot here, but my castle seems to be doing a good job. But I'm just... Now, red, red is quite funny, because, well, here we go, they killed off these people, and they've got lots of people on here. They're waiting for a transport ship to pick them up. But, oh, they converted that gold miner, that's why I haven't got them anymore. So I've got these trebuchets here, just wandering around, trying to find where the enemy is, and if you see my fog of war, I, find, I do find that red are here, which is quite fortunate, but as you can see from the score, they're not really doing much at all. If anything, they're going slightly down, but this is why. They, because of its AI, it's stupid here, and they lose a lot of villagers because of um, a lot of villagers st stuff to do with that. Being on that little section is not too great. You don't get many resources, especially not as much wood as you would possibly want, because you get all these wood patches over on the mainland. And I lose a lot of cavalry archers because I'm having to focus on stuff here, and it can get through here, but uh, yeah having to sort this out and so I end up coming up with some hussars get rid of that and I soon get a villager to get rid of, repair these walls and I think I well I say repair I like to um I like to just destroy the wall and rebuild it because it's so much quicker and anyway here we go I've built some dots here and I'm getting some fire ships out and soon come down and these appear to be the only ships only fighting ships that they've got, which is quite fortunate. I could also build some docks here and approach down from this area here and I heard some farms go. There we go. So I've got some more buildings here. I've got archer range and stable to get some more heavy cavalry archers and hussars. And I've got the unit. I've got the resources I mean I could do with the unit. So one we're being attacked by by the ships. And that dock has gone. But here are my sh ships anyway. And it was quite fortunate you saw that hussar there. I took him up here because I just wanted to make sure that these ships weren't going to come in but with those ships gone I thought I'd make good use of it and try and attack their base as much as I could I thought I'll just leave them to get it down centre get rid of the stable, get rid of any more ships that I can not doing a great job but then again they wouldn't normally and I'm just being attacked constantly up here and I soon there's not much to get. Uh, there we go, they defeated anyway. This is quite fortunate, I could just walk past here without having much of a problem. So I thought, okay, let's send all my units back. And I could see red score was not too great. This was only fortunate, but if I if they were doing much better, they would have sent more units over. And they would have, you know, extended down here, you know, maybe built another town centre. I mean, that's the thing, if you spawn on this land, make sure you have watchtowers or you know or outposts at least all along the coast here just to see when the enemy comes in and you can see I've got some ships coming through here but also the other thing would be to um, make good use of building town centers all the way down so you can keep your economy going as much as you can and what do I create here do I create any I thought I created um, cannon galleons but anyway Let's see, I can only see this area here, so I thought, I'll go in, oh here's some cannon cannons anyway, so I thought, let's get rid of their docks, that's that one gone, and come down, what do I get rid of next, get rid of this castle, get rid of this dock, and then I'm ready to land, so I've still got the transport ships up here, ready to come down, full of people, uh, do I bring them down? And these cannon galleons are looking over here, and they can't. I think I've got. Oh, I've got spies anyway. I've got. I ha ended up having the gold, which I don't think I actually researched atheism, which would cut up, cut the cost of gold. Um, cut the cost of gold. Cut the cost. Sorry, I can't say it right. Cut the cost of gold, which is quite fortunate. So anyway, I can see this here, and I've just sent them in. Just look at them go. They're just not doing a great job, and I just take them out completely. And those troops here sorting that out. Sorting this out, got the monks to heal any of these people. Taking this out, it's very nearly done. And I've got all these villagers here, which I... Oh, they, I've, they've resigned anyway, so that's not much of a problem. So, probably main thing is make good use of 
these small islands here because they will most likely have nice resources on. Then, depending on where you're spawning, make sure you have a good idea of what's on your coast and make sure you have plenty of docks to suddenly count that mean I've got what eight docks there and then I built some docks on this river here and I had about four and five before and then possibly this river as well and make sure you have I would say have docks on both sides of, of the map you know if, it's, if, if you're up here have docks both sides then you can attack any ships quickly here and attack any ships quickly here if you're somewhere around here make sure you have a good idea of what's on your coastline and make sure the enemy don't come in but also have lots of watchtowers around the outside now there seemed to be a lot of stone on this map so that was quite nice and if you're on here make good use of the whole of this land it's quite unlikely that you'll spawn with someone else unless there's lots of people playing the map and yeah i believe that's it so thank you very much for watching see you in the next part